Hello, so in this video I'm going to show you the crop tool, uh, some of the the options for the crop tool within Photoshop CS6. So to access the crop tool we have the icon over here. And right away it kind of selects uh, a, an area to crop. And you can click here to kind of change the size. And see how everything is uh, kind of conforming to the center of, of the crop tool here and you have a few options here uh, if you want to see a grid all these options they, uh, that can be really really useful now you also have the area to it says delete crop pixels so that means that say you crop it you crop this image here and since you have checked this this says delete the, the cropped pixels so if we say uh, we can press enter or click uh, the check mark here so that means that the pixels uh, that were cropped uh, are no longer there so say I wanted to move actually let me create a new layer So say I wanted to move this, see how the, the pixels that were cropped are no longer available there. So if we go back to our first image, actually let me create the, the layer. So if we select uh, crop, so say we crop the image like this and we deselect this option and say OK. So now the image has been cropped and if we move see how those pixels are still everything else from the image still available to us if we move it. So that's why that option is uh, it's really neat to have that option available to us. So that's the crop tool and actually something new to the CS6 version is that if you you can actually rotate here see how it rotates the, the image really really nicely uh, it's really interactive uh, I believe and this is new to CS6 so that's really a really nice option available to us so now let's look at the perspective crop tool which we have available here now before CS6 uh, we we had this option in CS, CS5 and I, I don't know if it was in the previous versions but but it, it was in CS5 but I believe it was a little more uh, it was in the options above that, that you could choose the perspective crop but now you have it within uh, one of the options here in CS6 so if we select the area that we want to crop now the difference between this one and the regular uh, crop tool is that if you select here you can kind of move the, according to perspective so if you wanted to crop this we match that to the perspective of the painting that we have here so okay see how that made the, the whole image really straight and if you wanted to continue to uh, uh, get this looking a slightly better you can go to filter uh, lens correction and if we choose custom here custom and we can remove some of the distortion so maybe if we're getting that fish eye look maybe we can kind of make this slightly better okay so that's the crop to uh, perspective crop tool that's a really really useful tool now within the crop uh, tools here options that we have available we also have the slice tool and slice select now these are mainly used for uh, web design uh, especially web design uh, if you because you can select some of the options uh, some areas of the image so we create these squares here 
and that's all that the, the slice tool does and then you can come here to the slice tool select tool and you can modify the size and uh, even add some attributes if you click here on the number change the name of it uh, and things like that and what you would do is uh, basically go to file and we'll just say for the web let me zoom out here so that you can see so you you can save all these this image into separate pieces basically and you can select the different compression types for each of the pieces so that's basically what the slice tool is for it's basically mo mostly used for web